Welcome to Trim Plays Asuka. We're going to go ahead and select change character. I'm going to take you a look at Dexterity and Perception. This is the first character. And then I'm going to hit to the right. They have dropped Dexterity and Perception. This Dexterity is crafting. Perception is dis ability to discover resources. We are going to play Asuka. The game is also named after her. As far as presets are concerned, this is just what um, what model you have picked. So if, let's say I would have made Hairstyle 1 and then go to the next one. Oh, that's the preset I'm applied. Yes, we apply them. So this is... This is preset zero. This is now preset one. And all the presets are blank until you've done something with them. For our hairstyle, we'll pick that. And red Viking hair. Brownish colors. I don't know. the. Yeah, that one looks more natural. Yeah, definitely that one. Body. I think we're fine with that. We'll go and save. And hit back and single player. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then I'll put this into the description below. In the unlikely event, you wanted to play along and use the same seed. In the days before, the gods gave us the spark of ambition, lit the fire of creation. They gave us a world of our own, a home. They made us builders, warriors, legends. They gave us everything. But our hubris overcame us. We thought ourselves to be gods instead. We tore apart their memory. And we were punished. Everyone, everything, cast into the fire. Yet some of us were spared. To start again. Hello. I have no idea who that guy is. I know there's an intro video, but I can't run the intro video on this computer. I'll try to maybe run it on the laptop, and if I get it working there, I'll record it and transfer it over to render into one episode. I didn't mean to roll. I have no idea how I did that. I just think I pressed. I have no idea how I rolled. Oh, left. Sh oh, do it. Do you double tap shift? What kind of construction is that? So yeah, um, I like that we're getting achievements and levels ups and stuff for crafting and, and various other things. The Vikings weren't necessarily just about killing. And in this case, as a survival aspect... Do I have anything to gather? Hold on. I do have a water pouch. Okay. And the game does give desirability to crafting when you reward the player for it. What do you want? Build a menu, or build a simple fire through bushcraft. Well, yeah, but I need to first get some sticks and stone. I know how these games work. You, and unlike Minecraft, that has taught an entire generation of people, you cannot punch rocks and trees to get resources. Like, if I go up to this tree, requires X. See? You can't just punch it. You go out in real life and do that, and tell me how you feel. That wisp is just going to have to leave me alone long enough for me to get these resources. What I'm doing is I'm pressing Z, which is my ability to search the area. It makes the grass shrink and then highlights collectible items in orange, like these plants here. That will give me sticks. I already played for a little bit. I built a campfire and upgraded it, and then this blue monster came up and destroyed the whole thing and I, there was nothing to salvage. I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to start over anyways. I might as well just start from scratch in the video. Here's some water, but this is, this looks kind of like the area where I built where that guy in blue just came up and smacked my camp down. 
I mean, maybe not. Maybe it was more so, uh, south of my starting location. But yeah, no nothing popped out as remaining resources when it was destroyed. The whole thing just gave me nothing back. I didn't gather any of these last time because I didn't stay near the beach. Those things drove me off. Those weird little ghost things. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to find a source of drinkable water that I can settle near. Every, so every time that Wisp here appears, if you just go up to him and talk, he'll say, Make a campfire! Maybe I should just make it exactly where you start the game, but I, I feel like I should at least... If I can settle next to some sort of resource that will improve my life, I should probably settle next to it. Like that right there. I don't see anything that might want me to die right now, so we'll build here. We need fibers and sticks. Now before that, we'll go and make some... We need fibers for the rope. Alright, so we need to get some fibers. Did I miss everything that gives fibers? What gives fibers? These give sticks, but what gives fiber? Can be harvested for... F Did something... something near me? Can be harvested for fibers, so how do I do that? Double left click does not do it. Left shift harvest, left shift left Did I just turn into fiber? I don't know what that meant. Journal entry J, I don't know what that means. Left shift, left. Oh, there. Okay, yes, it is turning into fibers. Okay, that, that is working. Okay, we need one more then. At least. So we'll even number. So we might as well harvest all of these right here. I hear footsteps. Probably uh, an animal that just wants to eat me. All right, first, let's. I keep hitting tab because that's what mini games are like. B. Make some rope. And I probably don't need that many stone blades. But this is fine. We have one X. Pickaxe. It's a skinning combat and fire starting. Base damage 5 to 6. Base damage 4 to 5. Base damage 4 to 6. We'll, this will require bone fragments, so you can't do that. All right, I've gathered up quite a bit of reed, enough to build the campfire. Let's get started on that. That's where we're settling. Yeah, there's three, three water sources right next to me, so we'll build a campfire, I guess, like here. Then we need to supply it, like a, like we're a pawn in Room World. Then we open the simple fire menu, and then we can upgrade it or dismantle it. We're going to add the campfire upgrade, which gives me... It doesn't disappear if all the fuel has been used up. 
Now we just need to look at the rock, not the campfire itself, and then continue to supply it. We can also continue to upgrade. And this is about as far as I get before the guy came over and smashed my stuff. So I need one more rope. Is there... Seriously? There's a wolf now? I see its eyes in the distance there. If I light a fire, it'll go away. Okay, they left. You can barely see them. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out on YouTube. Alright, so we needed some more rope. Uh, let's see, our supply. Two sticks. So you can see on the bottom, we need one more rope. Supply that. A couple sticks. Try to keep an eye out to see if the wolves are returning for me at any point. Drinking, so I have my water bonus of strength. Well, I don't think that's gonna make me able to kill the wolves if they decide to approach, especially if there's two of them. What I need to do is find some more sticks. I guess we are chopping a tree down, Dad. They shouldn't see me over this ridge. I need to find a tree I can actually chop. I hear some sticks. You look at the compass on the top of the screen, I can just head straight to my fire that way. Supply that. We need some bark now. So that will require chopping a tree. I don't know if I'll need these logs, long sticks or anything. I hadn't actually gotten further than this point. Again, my, my camp was destroyed, so... I don't really want you dropping it towards a fire like that. Why would you ever arc it when I, <laughs> I told you to drop it in the direction you're facing? So you always trying to drop it at a right angle? Yeah, kind of. Need two more bark. Good morning. Day survived one. Saving you. Right, what do you want to tell me? Press B to build a menu and build a shelter. Shelters are basic lodging for you and shelter villagers. They are also a good place to rest and regenerate HP. You use stone axe to chop down trees. You need a hose to level the terrain and a wood hammer to build. I don't. I mean, I only have two tools right now. Missing equipment hammer.
I don't know if I need this fire cover. It sounds important. Hammer time. Do decompleted, press G to view. So these are the things that the, the game wants me to do for Act 1. Build the Eye of Odin. I definitely want to do that. I don't know how to do that, though. Build the Wolden Altar. You misspelled Altar in that case. Hit a build site to keep track of its progress and have prioritized by builders. Extremely basic housing that supports one villager. Allows characters to sleep, restoring lost health, and extremely slow rate. Extremely vulnerable to weather damage. Should only be a temporary solution until proper housing cottage longhouse is assured. Provides light and keeps wildlife away. How do I build the Odin thing? Eye of Odin. Must build a shelter first. Alright, we need three long sticks. Two rope and more some bark as well. Well, I must have actually hit these. Hopefully, they still are good. Flattening required. Okay, I thought I messed it up, but no, this is me. It's that's it's expecting me to read the long sticks over now. Okay, I was looking. I was like, "What did I do? What did I mess up?" Good thing I saved these long sticks. I only need two. Let's put this back over here. All right, so what do you need? More sticks, two rope, one more stick. I don't know why you have left and right arrows, but you won't let me do left and right arrowing. And then what is that in the... It is a long... another long stick. Okay, so yeah, you, there was... you just... You're doing it in stages, I guess. Fine, but still. That's obnoxious. Like. Right, now we need one more stick. chop this while we're here for more firewood. Fire is still going. I'm surprised. Can I put it out for now? Hold the extinguish. It's 31% fuel. We'll extinguish it and see what happens to the fuel. Okay. Fuel is still good. Add fuel. Our wood has about six, 17%. See wolf in the distance. Please leave me alone. No, oh, seriously, come on, dude. This is my second time already. 
was probably what happened, is I turned the fire off so they came by, but I was trying to save fire since they didn't show up during the day last time. Hopefully that will work. Manage house. Villagers that are already assigned to this household, they can be dismissed. Villagers homeless can be assigned. Okay. Housing points 27. Open shelter menu. Let's try that one. Oh, same thing. Two rope and a long stick, I can make a torch. Part of reason you can't balance it on the rock, really? Could be in the, out in the open. They have consistently come in from that direction, so. This might be too much. Like, I were. The campfire might be plenty, for all I know. Exclamation mark for what do you want? Two long sticks, two large stone. Okay, I can get the large stone, not too hard, it's not too difficult for that. Just trying to find a nice visual spot for this. I not that I think it matters too much. Well, you want to tell me to build the Eye of Odin because that's what I've been trying to do. Helps you gather your tribe. By using Jotun blood, you can activate and choose one of two villagers to summon. Enemies are drawn to its power, so the Eye of Odin is often the main focus of invasions. Protect it as the only way to summon your tribe. Alright. It's not as central as I would have liked, then. Oh, come on. Can I repair it? Uh, it doesn't seem so. I can add fuel. Flattening required. Okay, supply. I need four more sticks and one stone. Good luck getting that arrow out of your hide. That's just fiber. I 
the small stone now. And two large stones, so once we break this into parts, I'll need to bring some of the stones back. Why did my cat- oh, because I ran out of stamina, is that what happened? She put her bow down. And that was weak, I don't like that. I can re at least regenerate health, I would assume. Okay, apparently eating onion is not so good. Let's keep eating since I'm already sick. Some garlic too while I'm at it. Maybe these are werewolves. That's off, dude. I should be just smash him in the head with this. Actually, can I left click with this? No. Oh, he just shot my arrow on the floor. Come on, game. see my arrows. I've got eight arrows and one that's partially used that doesn't stack. No. Okay, I've got nine arrows and one of the other arrows is stuck in the hide of that one wolf that attacked. But apparently I can shoot a bow. <laughs> while it's, yeah, while carrying this stone. You wolves don't scare me. You want to know what I what killed my base last time? It was a blue demon, okay? And he comboed me uh, just like completely from full health to almost none. I didn't die. I did run away. But yeah, just like one combo. I went, went from healthy to nothing. I'm sure a wolf is easier than that.
Apparently my campfire inside the tent itself went down. Okay, now I need the big stones. R, not E. First, I have a large health pool, but I get thirsty faster. I'm a proficient woodcutter, but I eat more. I think we'll go with card. You look like a beast man, though. I don't like this, but whatever. Getting a mood boost when active at night, but experience a mood penalty when awake during the day. So you would be like a night raider, maybe a watchman. Sure, we could use one of those. He's got a large health pool, and he's good at night. trailing me. It's Ten minutes until a villager appears. He still has my arrow in him, too. That's cute. But he looks fully healthy, though. He looks like he regenerated that whole thing during night. Okay, maybe make woodcutter's pit. A splinter structure, structure that allows villagers to harvest wood can assign one worker. But in this direction, I suppose. I'm not worried about turning it around. Keep an eye on back there. And recipe. Odin favors me for this. Now's the time to chop these down, now that I can't really leave the camp because of those wolves. I do with bark can be harvested for fibers. Square sticks, but not bark. I have enough bark for that, so we'll make another shelter, I suppose. I 
don't know what their beef with me is. Look, there's other things to eat. That don't shoot arrows and don't have fire. A long stick. So he got summoned, right? Where is he? I do. Oh, wait, he's over there. Just chilling. find any rope. You building? Hi. No, no, no. Jeez. Come on, game. Let me up. No, I'm, <laughs> let me up. I'm mashing spacebar. That was not what I was trying to do in the slightest. Your villagers are builders by default. They automatically start building. To give them any job, build a production bin, assign them to it. Start building a woodcutter's pit and assign them. He doesn't like his work hours? I mean, he just started. Don't complain, dude. Oops, I don't want to add... Hold on, can I take some of that out? No. I wasn't trying to add the bark. I need eight bark. He has his own hammer, it looks like. Okay, we know this. Let's don't show that one again. He has his own stone axe and wooden hoe. All right. Let's see what... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me give you this club. I built this for you. You fight. You protect me with that. Okay, I want to assign him to this. How do I do that? Woodcutter's pit is different than log stick storage. Are you chopping that? Because we actually just need sticks, not stumps. All right, good luck out there. Don't get eaten. He's literally running to where the wolves are. I'm <laughs> just watching the wolf chase him. Like if the wolf eats him, I quit. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good camera angle. The whole reason I hired you over the other person was because you were supposedly going to be my night warrior. If the game's going to add all these monsters and stuff, they should, you should add reasonable counterplays that the player can do at the beginning of the game. If I don't intervene and approach the enemy, they will just attack my buildings. That's, a, that, that's his own set of problems.
I just want you to help me fight, and then we go kill some wolves together. That's what I want. You and me against Wolfgar. Take these berries. They'll probably spoil, but you can eat but you eat your fill. It's my arrows? Okay. Turn one into fiber, and I can turn grab. I was wondering why I was able to carry it. I thought sticks were small. I forget the dude's name already. What's his name? Kari. Oh, apparently you can't keep typing. Fine, we'll just name it Kari. Right, we need five more eyes, I suppose, to make another summon. I get blood of my enemy? Harvest Jolten blood. Oh, okay. This act, this pickaxe probably break before I finish with it. I think berries is keeping me from harvesting this. Yeah. All that for two. I'm gonna need another two Jolton Blood boulders.
Alright, I now have four Jotun uh, blood, I think. Yeah. So each stone has currently given me two. Meaning that to get your five, you have to harvest three of them. Blood Moon? I can barely deal with these wolves as it is. Okay, I see those things on the left. Okay, my dude is helping. He's winning. I just have a... X. Well, this is my first... I, I haven't defeated anything before. Good job, dude. Now, if only we could deal with the uh, the wolves the same way, they just don't stick around. Five sticks. Let's get that real fast. Buzz off. Oh, come on, I, I know for sure too what a claim that was blank when I was cycling through my stuff just a minute ago.
Let's see how fast I get these hit points. I don't know if I'm regaining any further. teammate chops the trees but doesn't pick up all this other stuff. Like resin. I don't know if he already fully regenerated or that's the second wolf. I know that's why the wolves fight in packs like that. Still, if they, if it already regenerated, that that's mega annoying to me. I have probably six Jotun stones now. I can try to summon a second villager. But the first one was a big disappointment. I was thinking like, oh, if I summon this villager, I can fight the wolves now. Can't deposit anything. Well, I couldn't make, grab this bark actually. And make a shield. like that it the window suddenly pops up and so it changes where you're aiming <laughs> cue to block okay and i can walk Breaking stones is a challenge. Overall health increased. I run longer, sleep more often. What? Both of you suck. So what if I had cancel? I assume I lose all the ore anyways. No, it's just I just had to pick between these guys no matter what. Alright. 
What if I rebuild this? I've been thinking about just packing up so I don't have to deal with the walls. I'm saying his overall health is up, but he cannot mine. He cannot woodcut, but runs better. I mean, this is probably better because you, you at least don't have the drawback of the other thing, so... Sune it is. If he's regenerated fully, and I have not, this is stupid. They don't, they, there's at least three of them out there, but still. I've been, I supposedly have the regeneration advantage because I have a shelter, but somehow I doubt that. I somehow I feel like they probably have just full, are fully healthy. It's just because they've been doing nothing but non-stop harassing me, which is what wolves do, sure. That's why I think I'm just picking up and moving now that we have some basic storage units that make it easier to move stuff around. And an extra hand, too. Well, realistically, the, I was beelining for that extra hand because I thought he'd help me fight. He only helped me fight against the Blood Moon, but not against the wolves. I guess you just are extra good at gatherings, so we'll assign you to that. Right, you shouldn't do stone. So we'll assign you to woodcutter. next workshop hit I think once we do this we call it done I thought I haven't conquered the wolves or anything I did survive under their constant harassment Battletech three or something battle the commander there's a guy he kept saying harassing fire I survived the constant harassment of the wolves Insane building, frankly. No. All right, whatever. The watering thing was the entire reason we settled here. And there were three watering things near us, which has helped us immensely. Like, I haven't even used the rain collector yet because I've been saving that for my teammate.
And I haven't had to use my water pouch yet, but I think I may have to at this point. Well, now we know that flattening it will destroy things that you like there, too. Check the my villager's schedule. In fact, aren't you like a night owl or something? Feeling a mood boost when active at night, but experience a mood penalty when awake during the day. Yeah, we'll we'll switch your schedule up actually. So you're up from eight. Okay. six seven eight nine hours of sleep okay so these guys get nine hours of sleep by default so we'll make that nine as well so he will be awake at night just like he likes what are you what are your abilities All right, so this is another very hearty person why are your work hours minus what what tell me more about this there should be tool tips like your work hours what's wrong with your work hours dude Okay, go to work. You don't need to be do something. Four fiber and four sticks. Dude, I'll hit you with this long stick. You want it? You want to go fetch? Right click, okay, right click without any shift clicking.
Feathers go in this too? Okay, I'll take it out of uh, this little storage bin I made over here. Let's see what all goes in there. I throw that I have to jump around just to access the, the bins, but I can finally start storing stuff. Can't store the firewood. Lame. It's a medium material. Chill sensitive. Have a hard time staying warm in freezing temperatures. Run longer, sleep more often. Picks up breaking stones. Prone, less prone to illnesses. Okay, we'll go for Bjorn. See what the, I can create with this workshop table. Okay, just general tools like I already have. I don't think it costs any less than it normally does. I think it might even cost more. Oh, this large stone axe, that's why. It'll be better than my current one. And large stone pickaxe. I see, so I can upgrade to a large wooden rake. Used for farming, road maker. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of rope. Which made me consider add, adding another wood harvest maker. to transport resources. That's cool. Put an altar. Gather around and tell stories. What I need is probably a shelter for the next person. Are you telling me you're done with your job, dude? Sticks to rope. All right, my character is massively thirsty, so I'll sip from this. Collects water during rainfall. Person is finished baking, we can add him into the shelter.
What's the red eyeball mean? You being observed by enemies? Two more broken, one more sticks. Can we make any sort of weapons here? Heavy club. Yeah, that's weak. The game requires me to run over here and grab it. Okay, large one is done. We'll finish using this one first, though. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll give one to my, my crew. He's assigned to the woodcutter's pit. Get out of here. Shoot. The gatherer's hut. Well, I think we really have covered a great deal of stuff. I'm getting my third person. We managed to get. We can probably average uh, one person every one or two days. Um, I see two Jotun stones, but they're guarded by the wolves. I think we've covered a great deal. My character is hungry, but I just need to go to the beach and pick up some mussels, and and we'll be fine. I'm not worried about that. Guarding against the wolves is annoying, though. I don't just stand here all night. I'm just talking right now as we're wrapping up. Normally, I'm just dra I'm dragging around uh, like lumber and stuff. And when I hear the howl, I to kind of walk over here and they run off. I don't know if it's because you just turn your camera towards them and it counts or what. If I don't, they will attack this torch and try to break it. The torch plus a, a human will keep them at bay. Still, I think we've pretty much done what we needed to to provide good coverage about the game. I do enjoy the building aspects of it. I don't like about the, uh, the combat stuff, but I have only fought a white, a wolf, and a demon. And <laughs> the white died very easily, but the wolf and demon just way too tough at the beginning of the game at least. For Asuka, maybe for Ragnar, not, not so much. Nonetheless, the building mechanics, I do enjoy. I'd like to see more of it. I want to see more of the villagers as well. Thank you very much for watching Tran plays Asuka. I'll see you next time.